While global leaders, negotiators and other stakeholders in the climate change discourse continue to disagree on various terms behind closed doors, people in vulnerable communities are suffering, the most affected sections of the populations being women and children. Takuchi Ambakwe looks at how sustained low water levels in Lake Kariba are causing problems in the lives of women in Gache Gache. A few years ago, women in the Gache Gache fishing camp located on the fringes of Lake Kariba used to walk for a few meters to fish and do their laundry at the lake. Sadly, poor rainy seasons in recent years have seen water levels in the lake plummet. The El Nino phenomenon has only worsened the situation, converting the walking distance from meters to kilometers. <laughs> She says the absence of a reliable transport system makes the job more difficult as women compete with men who have cars. Ubi highlights that back in the day, fishers would gladly deliver stock at her home, but due to the distance, they now must walk. Another villager, Mai Manzungu, explained how the change in climate is affecting her. Mm. Just a few years back, these cars and bicycles would not be there. This area was covered by water. <laughs> Teacher Ona Manzungu took us on a tour of the lake sharing in detail how things have changed. Almost 2.3 Even our basin is becoming very small. Our fishing effort is becoming high. Besides having to endure the long distance, women in Gache Gache now have to navigate the real threat of wild animals. According to the United Nations, while climate change affects everyone, it does not affect everyone equally. Vulnerability to climate change is exacerbated by inequity and marginalization linked to gender, ethnicity, low income, and other social and economic factors. Women often face higher risks and greater burdens from the impact of climate change in situations of poverty, as well as obtaining roles, responsibilities, 
and cultural norms. Takuchi Mbakwe in our TV news.